ナマンダーナマンダーナマンダー Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to our graduation service for 2020.、Uh, and right off the top,、uh, most important thing, congratulations to our graduates.、Uh, really, really、uh, excited for them. And、uh, you saw their messages in the、uh, Bushin. And so、uh, please read those if you haven't had a chance to already.、Uh, we are giving them scholarships.、Uh, Bryant Lee is getting the Reverend Taniguchi Dharma Award, and Samia Neishi is getting the Shigeko Yamaoka Memorial Scholarship.、Uh, so, congratulations to them for that.、Um, also, the OBWA, the Oakland Buddhist Women's Association,、uh, is giving them scholarships as well.、Uh, so, we are just really excited for them, and let's give them a big hand. Yay! <laughs> All right.、Um, thinking about graduation time, and、uh, it's a time of change, right? We've come to the end of、uh, the Dharma school year. We've come to the end of their high school careers.、Um, for all of you, coming to the end of this year of school,、um, even if you're not、uh, you know, graduating to college or something like that, still, if you're in second grade, you've finished with second grade. Right? If you're in fifth grade, you finished with fifth grade.、Uh, if you're a sophomore in college, you finished your sophomore year.、Uh, and so,、uh, you know, things are all, that's always happening, actually.、Right? Every moment, whoa, that moment finished. What's coming in the next moment? Oh, that moment just finished. What's going to the next one? That one, this, next, that, next, that.、Right? It's always, but we don't think that way.、Right? Normally, we're just going through our life and we just kind of.、Uh, Going through our life, not really reflecting in this way.、Uh, so, graduation time and the end of the school year, I think, is a good time、uh, to stop, relax, breathe, have fun,、uh, but also reflect, to think, right? Think inside, think about、uh, this past year, think about my life, right? And so, not but not only think back on the past, but also think ahead, look ahead. What's going to happen next? Right? What am I going to do this summer?、Uh, but then also, what's going to happen next year? What do I want to do?、Uh, that's something I don't think I really ever did. When school ended, I was like, yes, it's over. And that was it. <laughs> I just want to have fun. And then eventually the summer goes on and on and on. And finally, summer ends and okay, back to school. Right? And then go through it for another year and waiting for it to end, whether each day or each semester or the, you know, the end of the school year. And then, you know, yay, it's over. And then do it again.、Right? Thinking back, that wasn't the best way to do it.、Right? Thinking back,、uh, I wish、uh, that I had known about self reflection. I didn't know about that stuff. I mean, I think I did it, kind of,、um, but not in an organized way. Uh, I wish I had realized that I could think about the future and think about、uh, what do I want it to be like? What do I want to have change?、Uh, what do I want to do better?、Uh, for whatever reason, I just, that never really happened to me. So that's what I, I want to encourage for you. right? You're going to be so happy when it's over, right? The, when this school year.、Uh, maybe it is already over.、Um, that's fine. Right? And、um, you get to relax a little bit. Maybe you don't have to do homework every day now and your, your tests are done.、Uh, but don't then not think about it until it starts again. Right? That we can kind of think about,、oh, okay, you know, this year I, I said I was going to read more, but I didn't. Well, maybe I can do it now. I can even do it over the summer. I don't even have to wait、um, for a school to, end, for, to start again. Right? I can uh, uh, start reading again over the summer. Right? And then、uh, maybe I want to study harder. Maybe I want to, oh, you know what? I tried, finally, I realized, I think it was college.、Um, I finally realized I'm going to try to start studying earlier, whether it's getting started on homework,、uh, getting started on big project, studying for exam, right? To,、um, to, to do it earlier. Because my biggest problem is procrastination. My biggest problem is, oh, I got an exam. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it.、Uh, it's tomorrow. I got to think about it. Right? Too late. I should have started earlier. And I actually would have been happier and more relaxed, I think, if I'd started earlier. Because even if I put it off, still deep down inside, I'm worried. But 
if I tackle it head on and realize, okay, I got this test, what do I have to study? Let's figure it out now. Even if I don't start studying immediately, at least make a plan. This is what I need to study, and I'm going to study at these times. These are all skills I never learned. Well, I learned them kind of in college and grad school, um, but I still have difficulties. Uh, but it's never too late to start, right? So if you already have good study habits, great. Um, you're, you're like, it's graduation. I don't want to think about studying. I get it. But, um, you know, just to kind of start the plan early. You don't have to do it instantly, but start thinking about it. Um, so graduation is kind of this special time uh, when we can realize, oh, uh, here's a landmark. This finished. Something new is going to start later. Uh, and so it's kind of this special time when we can actually acknowledge, oh, wow, okay, the school year is ending. Right? Uh, I know we've given in the past what we're not having uh, is attendance awards and graduation from the different years. We might not even really do that so much anymore. Um, but certainly for like high school graduation, college graduation, it's kind of a big deal. Right? Uh, and like I say, it's a landmark. It's We want to um, uh, honor it. Uh, we want to, you know, make it a kind of a special occasion um, because it is kind of a big milestone. Uh, but it doesn't mean that it's over, done, right? It means, ooh, bigger things on the horizon. Uh, I just have to speak a little bit about, um, you know, what's going on right now uh, with uh, Black Lives Movement and uh, some of the difficulties that have been happening uh, this past week or two. Uh, you know, I had my Dharma message last week, and, uh, you know, things have changed. Things changed within a day, right? Um, there have been protests. I think that we need to acknowledge uh, that protesting is a, it's a fundamental right, right? We need to be able to protest. Damaging things, hurting people, uh, hurting people's businesses, not so much especially if your motivations are not uh, to try and to change the world for the better. Uh, but I really think the important thing to focus on uh, is that so many people are trying to change this world for the better for everyone, not just for a certain group, uh, not just to make chaos. But, you know, if you really uh, look at all these different protests, there was even a protest uh, within the past couple nights uh, here in Oakland, and I heard it turned into like a dance party, right? So we can do it. We can have peaceful protest, right? We can get together uh, and realize, yes, we can't have things keep going the way it's been going. Uh, that, you know, we need to change things for the better, and maybe we can. As a Buddhist, I believe, absolutely we can. You know, as difficult as things uh, may seem, Buddhism always puts uh, enlightenment as a possible goal. As tight as karmic bondage may be, uh, Buddha always says it can be broken. The karmic chains can be broken. Uh, so, you know, I really want to hold up uh, as, as frightening uh, and uh, sad and um, uh, frustrating uh, and all these different difficult emotions we might have um, seeing what's going on. At the same time, uh, as a Buddhist, uh, I have a, kind of a positive view on the whole thing. Uh, I feel kind of bad for everyone who's, you know, had to finish off the school year and have school, um, not being able to be at school, not being able to be around your friends. Um, but I think you're all, you know, if that had happened to me, it would have been rough because I wasn't used to texting. I didn't even have texting. I didn't even have a cell phone when I was in high school. Uh, things have changed. You're used to that, right? You're used to interacting in that way. So keep working with that. Right? But you work with it uh, in a positive way to uh, enable yourself to keep learning, uh, enable yourself to keep having uh, these relationships. Uh, and I really feel like um, it's kind of an exciting time. Right? As scary and difficult as things are, there's also great potential for change. And I think that that potential for change uh, will come about uh, if we're able to see ourselves, um, but also have a positive, uh, kind, compassionate view towards others. And why not? Why can't we do it? The, the pessimistic view is easy. The negative view is easy. But the positive view, uh, as difficult and as, as unobvious as it might be, when you get it, it's like, yeah, why not? Why not? Why can't all beings be happy? Right? That's the ultimate wish of the Buddha, that all beings be happy and well. 
Uh, so I want to hold that up for us, for all of us, whether it's graduates, uh, whether it's um, our Dharma school students who are not graduating. Well, you're graduating from your school year, but you'll be back here next year, right? Um, whether it's for um, our adults, right, of any age, young adults, uh, middle-aged adults like me, um, people older than me, people way older than me, um, although I'm kind of catching up, uh, right, uh, for all of us, right, that our ultimate goal, wisdom and compassion, happiness for all beings. I know it can seem kind of pie in the sky, so what? That's the Buddhist ultimate goal, uh, happiness uh, for all beings. I also want to really thank you for this past year. Uh, thank you for continuing to support uh, the Buddhist Church of Oakland. Uh, thank you for switching over. You know, it was kind of a um, difficult transition to all of a sudden not be able to come here. Um, but we're keeping it, we're keeping it up. Uh, we're going to, and also, um, you know, I think that uh, normally this would be the last service for the summer, except for a couple, right? And then we'd start again in the fall. But I'm really going to try to keep doing Dharma messages over the summer. Uh, so keep an eye out for those. Uh, congratulations once again uh, to our high school graduates. Uh, congratulations to all our Dharma school students for making it through another year. Uh, and may you be happy and well uh, over the summer and hope to see you again in the fall. Okay, uh, let's close this Dharma message with Gasho. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namanda. Namanda.